Nation Nation, hello, Lee Kemp here for another week on the podcast with my very good friends, hyperactive Jose Noya and without a light coming or going, Ryan Boniface. Yeah, I don't have a light. He's in the dark. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to plug it back in. Do you want a, do you want a minute to plug it back in? I can walk no, because we're already we're already running behind time today. It's fine. The time is running. The time is running. This is how we do it, guys. We are, for those watching on TikTok, we are on a Thursday instead of a Tuesday. Thank you for those that are with us on the Thursday. Um, Jay Noya underscore Inspiration Nation to follow on TikTok. We are on social media at Listen to YN, Listen T O I N. Don't forget to head over to inspirationnation.org.uk for all your inspiration needs. So um, I am picking up the pickle of conversation this week. Yes, the pickle. It feels like we are in a good space with Ryan rushing through the door, Joe waiting <laughs> to rush out the door, me slamming my gin and tonic. It's time for winging it, number three. Winging it? Oh, here we go. It's been about two it's years just... since we've winged it. Yeah, this is what I Wing thought. It. I can bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> it's got a bit of nostalgia. It is, Winging and I think it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> And actually, on the various podcasts that I listened to, they um, had a topic and they ended up getting into conversation and just talked for two hours and were like, oh, we forgot what our topic was, but this was a good show anyway, which feels like good inspiration for today for us. So just go with it. All right. Okay. So throw it out there. What, what, what's your first topic then? Well, for those, and those who haven't heard before, go back in the archives. Winging It episodes are clearly noted where we have no subject, no form. We do what is my favorite thing in life and we just wing it. Which is gin and tonic. That's what these. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's my, my second favourite thing in life. I was going to kick off, actually, because today. Go I on, Joe, my... What have you got? I was going to just say, uh, so I, I did a little video today about um, how life throws, life throws challenges at you. And, you know, when we want to achieve stuff, um, I was talking about, you know, life will put stuff in the way. So today I went for my heart scan. I went for a heart scan, a bit of a scare, and I had to go to A&E a couple of times. My heart felt really heavy and uh you know life throws these stu- this stuff at you so um i had my heart scan today i had to go in a ct scan i had to have this ink injected in me and all this and then i felt like i was going to wet myself because they said that was going to be the case and and i thought oh what's going on here anyway had it all done just waiting for the results now but i'm hoping everything's going to be good um but i'm just going to say we just don't know what life's going to throw us so this whole podcast about you know the challenges that we set ourselves have we got a decent a decent goal towards Wayne because we talk about things like, um, you know, moving toward our goals or what we're doing on the, in the daily to sort of hit, to sort of move towards it. And that journey piece, you know, cause life, you know, people, you know, people, life is a journey, right? It's what we do every day, what we get into our lives, what's the quality, but life's going to get in the way. And, and, and I know Lee, uh, Lee and myself, we had a, like, like the other day, Lee sent me a message because there was a person who passed away, a, a dear friend of ours, and um, you just never know what's going to happen. And uh, I actually talked about that as well. And, you know, my mum passed away this year. And I, I sent the guys uh, a little, um, I actually sent in this, we've got a little depression nation chat, guys. And uh, I sent a little bit of a life arc about where you can plot yourself. And, uh, and I plotted myself on there. And I'm in the sort of just entering the last phase of my life. If we get to 80, you know, it goes from, you know, 80s, I'm just entering that phase. But what I love about this arc is that it sort of gives you an idea of what might happen in that phase of your life. So anyway, that's what I've got. I just wanted to give a shout out to Lucy because she's saying, actually, Lucy's saying that this is so inspirational. And I'm just loving that, by the way. Thank you. This is what it's all about. Thank you, Lucy. I really appreciate that. By the way, 5.4K likes on TikTok at the minute, guys. Just amazing. You know, that's my bit. Fantastic stuff. Fantastic. That's not me. I've not liked you once, by the way, Joe, which is... You true, sure? As same true as TikTok, same as in normal. real life. Yeah. yeah. TikTok. Oh yeah, TikTok. TikTok. Oh, yeah. I've had half a like swig of gin now, so it's all gone. I will say, as you referenced it there, Joe, and we are winging it. I do want to give a shout out and a raise of my gin glass to Chris Hurd, who was the man in question you mentioned. We mentioned we both... names. Yeah. I think that's lad. fine to mention. I think he's more than. In fact, I think it's fitting to mention. Well, who we worked with years ago. Yeah, but he away, was one of my best, very best work friends back in the day. Um, as you do, you kind of fall out of touch, but fortunately passed away. Thoughts to his family. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Look at that. You know. Um, and I was, I was going to just say quickly, and I said in my video, actually, that 
he was like, I was, I was quite new to Hastings and he was like, probably I had a few teams actually, I was probably there for about a year and he came along and I remember walking through the door actually, he looked like the Terminator because literally had long hair. I don't, did, you, did you meet, did you know when no, he had long no, hair? No, 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 no. I'll he tell had you long a story hair. about hair in a minute though. <laughs> right, he basically had long hair, a trench coat on, like a long, and I thought, flipping hell, it's the Terminator. He banged through the doors, northern guy, wasn't he? Northern, had that northern accent. Absolute gentle giant, though. I thought, oh, he's on my team. I went, oh, my God, he's on my team. But absolute gentle giant, very knowledgeable, very intelligent guy, and actually such a gentle giant. And um, this world will not be the same without him. But no, he will really not be a really same. smart guy, one of the nicest guys yeah. I've ever known. I used to spend every break and lunchtime with him. we go down the pub and stuff together as well. And real family man. I went you know, for a good few years, went over for like barbecues he had every year, and so family oriented as well. Really good guy, but he was he didn't have the trench coat and the long hair when I started. Yeah. But he did, he, did he have short hair then for, with you? Yeah. Did he? And yeah. I moved, I was in the department and he had hair and a beard, and it was all good. And then I came in, like I'd only been in a few weeks in the in the um bit where you were, and I came in and there was a guy that was fully like bald, baby face complexion, and I was a bit like, Who the f- is that guy? And then I realized it was him. And then what he did was just once a month, he just completely shaved his beard and his hair all off and just let it grow. And it, But I didn't notice the first time. And I was really like, who there is that guy? Yeah, lovely guy. Yeah. He was quite funny. Right. Yeah, and, so, oh, go sorry. On. Go on, Joe. Go on. You go. And I was just going to say, I'm going to quick shout out to Lucy. 10K, let's go. We're not quite at 10K. We're at 6K likes so far. So if you're joining the TikTok live, please can you keep liking that button? Because we want to get to 10K. So thanks. Thanks, Lex. Lucy. It's fabulous. Let's get to 10K. It'd be great. Go on. That's right, just on the bouncing around the wing in it, and this is, again, inspirational stuff for people. And I, I touched on this a few weeks ago, and I think it's why I started thinking about it while I was on the train the other day on one of my rare jaunts out of the house. It's about the, how much can change in a short space of time, and the podcast being a reference to that. So we're three and whatever years into this now. And when we started this show, obviously, we met at the pub, we had a conversation. Ryan, we, in fact, Brian, we barely knew each other. Um, yeah, that's fair. And Joe, obviously, you and Joe didn't know each other at all. Um, Joe, we kept in contact, but it was very semi-regular, wasn't it? Like four or five times a year, maybe. And sometimes it would go years without any contact. And now we've been three years solid of talking to each other at least once a week, as well as messages and everything like that. So that's all changed quite significantly. But for example, for me, I just moved into where I am now. I'm now coming up to my second round of remodeling living here, thinking about doing things remodeling on the house, planning to get married in a few months' time um in a completely different career path now than I was then which I wouldn't have expected just so much has changed in such a short space of time things that were life goals and you know what I would think far down the path life goals almost and it's all kind of happened really quickly I think a big part of that is this and I hate to admit it but this weekly journal that we do Joe audio journal that's online for everyone I've but just thinking more about yeah. reflection and how you know the things that i'm really into now like mindfulness that i just think i would have raised a squiffy eyebrow at three years ago and it's just you so definitely would through embracing things in the short through through that conversation about doing a podcast ryan if you don't mind me saying but you talked about these bits on the podcast but you're now in a job that was aspirational to you when we started doing this yeah you're in a position financially that i think you almost thought was unachievable to you when you started this yeah. Um, so many great things that have happened, I think, by you, you know, focusing mentality, getting, you know, to grindstone, doing things. Joe, you have merchandise, you have a YouTube channel that's blowing up, you have a social circle that includes influencers in the space that you want to be. You are only two steps removed from Tony Robbins, let us not forget, on the people that you now socialise And with. Hulk Hogan, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Hulk I get Hogan. that. I'm That'd very nice. excited about this. Um, but I just think, again, it's that message to people of you just embrace life and what it brings and the challenges. And like you say, Joe, it's all about those little steps. And even if you don't know where you're going, they all build and you will go somewhere. And that was probably a whole topic I could have done, but I thought about it on the train the other yeah. day. So I thought I'd just drop it into conversation. You're absolutely right. And um, about that journey, is like if you'd asked me like, or asked us you know, where we'd be right now, like just to say we would have Mark Drager on the show who's got the We Do Hard Things podcast, who's, a, who's becoming a bigger influence himself. And actually, I think in a few years, you're probably going to see him about in the circle and that he's with Evan Carmichael, who's got 3 million subs. And then we've got Evan Carmichael interviewing people like... Um, you know, like Tony Robbins and there's a and uh, uh, what's that McConaughey actor? What's his name? What's his name? Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. Yeah, he's interviewed him. 
So we interviewed some pretty cool people, right? And so, right, all right. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> I got a squiffy look from Ryan there. Go on, Ryan. Not bad for you, mate. Oh, it's good, is that gin? It's good. But yeah, I think it, it is a bit of a journey, and I think it, it just, it, you know, if you are taking actions and just doing your bit every day, things will happen. I mean, you know, when I was doing little videos and started redoing my, my daily videos and mixing them up with the podcast, I was just looking at, I was actually watching back some of the clips from our podcast because I do them every week. And we are just so much better. We are so much better at our conversations. I'm glad you really guys have find some... up with me, if I'm honest. I'm not What's having that? that. I'm not having that, mister. <laughs> it would take 17 attempts to get an intro out of you. <laughs> Ryan, stop here. Start make, here, please. We did make it painful for you in the early days. We did. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but seriously, when I look back at the clips and I actually clip the podcast and I and I sort of chop it up and I put it on, I look back and think, God, that's really good. That's really good. I'm looking again. I'm really like, and I look at the way it's all edited now and it sort of chops and changes. And if I look back at the first videos I ever did, like edited, they were terrible. It's like left with three people on the screen, no changes, just like, but now, we're speaking better. I think we make more concise points. I think when I'm watching, I think, God, that's such a good point. It's a good reminder for me to go to continue on this journey and exciting, to be fair. So I think we've just improved so much. And, and I just think, well, what about that's going to happen in another three and a half years? You know, this year we've gone from, I think, on the, on the, on the YouTube, we went from 300. And I think this year we've gone from 300 to 700 in a short space of time. We interviewed Mark Drager. And that was a good, good, good video, and that done really, really well. So everything's happening, and it's going the right direction. And, and it, you know, and and on Instagram, I said another video blow up, and I got another <laughs> couple, good few subscribers on there. Reached about how many accounts I reached? Forty nine thousand accounts I reached on Instagram Incredible this week. Incredible numbers, and that's so cool. And if you'd asked me two years ago, oh, by the way, one of your reels or one of our reels, sorry, would achieve. 49,000 accounts here I would just say what are you talking about um so the fact that we've got done things like this these now I'm calling them small wins but actually they're quite big but you know now I'm thinking I want to be bigger I want it to be more so I'm just I'm looking at it, it becomes, that's all right but, it becomes a step and the next step yeah I was and I, it's all part of yeah, that journey I mean I just you think it, the thing or I saw it on his social media I don't know if you shared it I saw it but Evan Carmichael obviously one of your inspirations millions and millions and he showed like year one five subscribers year two a hundred and that time and then it just it, it's almost like it hits a tipping point but it's just momentum building and building and building and i've you know we're in whatever way we're going we're on that similar sort of journey it's the same for everyone else like you say joe it is it's consistency and focusing on the journey and focusing on doing stuff you enjoy and it all it builds and, and builds and builds and 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 Ryan like uh, you know and, and and Lee I really do enjoy these conversations I enjoy talking to you guys and I think you know we're different and I was saying about last week no Ryan you weren't here last week and what That's I like about Ryan ages, wasn't it? yeah <laughs> and what I like about you what I'm gonna <laughs> Lee Ryan I'm trying to make a serious point here sorry sorry I'll back right to can you can you wind in for a little bit right Ryan what I was saying about Ryan right? hold off mate Jeez. <laughs> Oi, I'm, I'm say about, let I'm me the put the point I'm about bloody one. Ryan. <laughs> right. Oh, Ryan, what I like about Ryan is, is that, you know, we have three people. We've got, three, you know, I, I, like, like, I really like, like Lee has put, we, we're sort of like, sort of like decades, you know, it's decades between us. But what I like about Ryan is always the devil's advocate. And I love that. And it just adds that no, nice dynamic. And, and, that, and that's what we miss, you know, when Ryan's not here. Or if one of us not, it's definitely a different. It's definitely a different dynamic when we when one of us is missing. It's definitely more fulsome when we're all three of us here. But yeah, I love it and I and I enjoy the conversations and yeah. So I think it's lovely. Um, and in fact, just to look at one thing, other thing, I'm actually getting more ideas about things that are happening because of this podcast. It makes me think. <laughs> I know ideas. because I got hit with 26 messages today, Joe, <laughs> as you spurted your ideas out your head. I had to. Yeah, <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it. And I've got this, yeah, and I've got these ideas coming out of my head and I said, right, I've got to share them, I've got to share them because that's part, that's part of the momentum. It may, it may be, it may be, it may not work. It may work. It, I don't know. But all these ideas come to us for a reason and Elvin, but Carmichael believes in that. And I think we should explain them. We should share them because it could spark something in someone else and start something. That's why I needed to share it. So there we go. That's why I shared it. But anyway, over to you guys because Ryan, you're not, 
Yeah, come on, Ryan, throw something on the table of winging it. It's weird to think of where we kind of come from to where we are. I think all of the goals I had for myself three and a bit years ago, whenever it was when we started this, I've generally hit them all now, generally speaking. Do you uh, find, though, are you like, oh, done, feet up? Or is it like, right, what's next? No, I think, now? I think... I think life just gives you new goals, right? You yeah. said that you said that the job I wanted was I remember the the adjective you you used. I want to say Anna. I think what's that? Sorry, aspiration. Aspirational, aspirational was the word that you used. Yeah, and I made that a reality. And maybe even six or twelve months in, into getting that into getting this job, I'm already forward thinking to what's next. And I remember I remember talking to you. I can't remember if it was in a work environment or not, but I was like, I want that. Like that's next and i know I, I felt like i need i knew for the most part what i needed to do to kind of start getting in those conversations to get there and another year on from that now because i think it's been about two years since i finally stepped foot into this role now i'm I, i'm confident that should something come up i could at least get in the room for a conversation and i think that's from where we were three years ago i was a nobody and now i'm in in you know, in, in some way or another, I'm I'm considered a somebody for this kind of situation, and that's and you, like you said, that next step is your foot in the door for that conversation. Yeah, and that might go well, or it might not, and if it doesn't, you've taken that step, and your next yeah. step is then right. Well, then I'm going to hit that, or you do, and you just keep moving and yeah. moving and moving, which is fantastic. Yeah, but that's that's the mentality that keeps you going. Is once you're there, you just you just keep pushing yourself. You keep looking for what's next. Yeah, and I've, there are some there are some goals I had that. I can't directly span something else from. I've spoken about it before, but I cleared all of the debts that I had finally after so many years. I can't, I can't clear more debts that I don't have. Right, so that that goal you can almost box off and and put to the yeah, side, yeah. but you can almost start a new goal, which is to start saving money for future living. Right, so that's perhaps where I am. I've, I've allowed myself maybe three to six months of free living if that's the right phrase three to six months of not having to worry about anything like that because i've been under so much so much cosh for it um <laughs> and then at the start of next year that's when i need to start taking it seriously again sorry I just dropped something I need to start taking it seriously again start moving forward with with that side of it goals I, i've always said i don't believe in new year's resolutions and all that stuff but they are just wild sometimes daft goals are um, New Year's resolutions and things like that. And it's no different. Just because it's the 1st of January and X year doesn't make that day more valuable to your life than the 31st of December the following year. You know, if you want to start something and you want to start a goal or you want to start working towards something, just we've already got to tick the box now, but just fucking do it. Like, just Let's do it. go. Yes. Uh, I've really got yes, to tick Ryan. that box now. Let's go. I love that. I love that one. Yeah. <laughs> Great stuff. Right, guys, this has been great conversation this oh, week. Oh, can I tell something? Can I just can I add to this? I know, I know, I know you set the timer. Well. He's it's the one that needed Ryan's to go, journey. by the way. Yeah, He's the, the one that needed to go. go. Yeah, I yeah, know, so but I just, I, I'm inspired by Ryan's... I'm just, yours, Jose, hang on, I'm just, I'm just inspired by Ryan's playback here. So, because Ryan, right, I remember when Ryan was going for his journey of getting to where he wanted to be, it wasn't easy, was it? It was, there was some real, you had some setbacks, didn't you? Yeah, a lot like, of them you, were probably self-inflicted. But, um, no, but there was there was that time when you were got into that leadership, and then you were out of leadership, and then you weren't. Oh sure yeah, of course. Happen, I did get the, yeah, I did get the job for for a bit of context. I got the job at the start of I got the job naturally at the start of 2020, and we all know what happened about two months after the start of 2020. And I think a lot of businesses weren't committing to certain aspects of um, employment or promotion. And I got rather than being made redundant, I got passed back to the role I had before, which I was incredibly grateful for. Then adver- I then uh, waited for the next role to come up. I interviewed for it. I didn't get it, but I got pulled aside and was told the next one is definitely yours because there was something in the pipeline that Lee needed me to do because Lee was my upline at that point. So I did technically get the job, but I didn't get the job that I'd applied for. And then ever since then, some that's nearly two years ago because you know, I think it was two years ago. I think I probably interviewed for it now. Two years ago, I've kind of permanently been in it so i say i you could argue i've been doing it for three years i just took a six month sabbatical but i just remember those conversations we had and and, and i know i mean a lot of times you're finding it really hard but you stuck with it and you stuck with it that was also about you know the debts it was hard 
but you just committed to it. And I think that's what I enjoyed. I enjoyed the fact that you, you never gave up and you just kept going. I know there were doubts and I remember you talking about doubts. Is this for me? Is this not? And there there was doubt and there was also, but you did hold on to the fact that, you know, this is still possible and you, you got through it which yeah. I think is a, a real inspirational piece. I think I just um, committed to what I thought was the right decision. Yeah, commitment. That's and, commitment. And, I, and, I, yeah. and you, you don't always know it's the right decision straight away, and you don't always know it's the right decision in 10 years' time, but you, you know it's the right decision at the time of making the decision. That makes sense. Well, now look at you. Now look at you. It's great. That's what I wanted to say, and I wanted to really get Ryan's soundbite on that because I think it's really important that it's just not—it's not linear. It's all like we talk about, it, don't we? It's like it goes like you don't go from there to there. It's like this whole bit of a mess, you struggle, and then you, and through the struggle, it's then oh, then you I like start to, pit, to make progress. I, I like to picture it like a um, a tree root or a plant root. Mm. It's linear, but it's not linear. Like things can only go a certain way, but they can randomize the way that they go. Tree roots don't go straight down. They're like. Yeah. Whatever. It eventually right. so, gets to the so. water, eventually gets the nutrients at, the, at yeah. the end of it, don't they? Gets to the nutrients. I really love that analogy, by the way. Some people that, get some people get a really short route yeah. to the water. Other people have to go around the houses to get to it. Yeah. But we're some killing the short. time now. So but no, but, no, but it's really good because some people's routes are shorter, but they make progress at different rates, but they can speed the progress or it goes or people with longer routes starts to slow down. I like that. But also this reminds me of Ray Dalio's progress because he does a little corkscrew. So you've got your progress, you, you've got your thing there, you set your goal up here, but actually there's this whole linear that goes like, it goes like a little corkscrew and then it goes up because this is where you fail, you learn, you adapt, and then you progress further. And I love that. It's like a little corkscrew and it moves forward. And it's just a, a whole process of review, do, review, do, and then actions and, ah, oh, and it's the rise of the roots analogy. So anyway, yeah, that, I think it's a really good point. Anyway, Lee, over to you because I know you're going to stuff. About this uh, for out. your own benefit, Jose, because we love you, I'm going to cut you off now. You're not Thanks. allowed to do any more talking. You're done. Thanks. Um, no, Thanks, guys. No more talking. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Um, I'm very excited that we did the Winging It episode, as you can tell. Um, it's always good stuff. Hopefully some good little pockets of inspiration there for people. We'd love to hear your feedback. Again, at listen to I N, listen to T-O-I-N. Check us out on the website. Details to contact us there. Full archive where you can hear the previous Winging It episodes. And, of course, join Joe on TikTok, J Noya underscore Inspiration Nation, the March to 10,000 followers. We rounded out about six, 7,000 likes on this one. So fantastic. We appreciate Brilliant. everyone for liking, getting involved, leaving us comments. We always do appreciate that. And Joe's on there every day, giving some great inspiration for checking out. And the last show is inspirationnation.org.uk. Um, merchandise, coaching service, archive, YouTube links, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's all over there. Right, we will be back again next week. Um, Joe will sign post when we are going live on TikTok for the recording. We thank you all. Leave us a review, click subscribe, etc., etc., etc. You all know the drill. You hear it on every podcast. Three, two, one. Inspiration Nation. Inspiration Nation. Let me know what your biggest takeaway is from this conversation. I'd love to know. Put it in the comments below and I'll respond to every single comment because that's the commitment I make to you in this community. Also, don't forget to subscribe right over here because we need you to build this inspiration nation community to get the podcast out there and to help other people for free. And also, don't forget to hit that bell right over here because if you hit that bell, then you're going to know when another video is going live. And don't forget to check out these videos right here next to me because those are other podcast episodes that can really help you out i really really appreciate it and lastly don't forget out to check the newsletter the link is in the description below that's where i can talk directly to you without through the youtube throughout the social because you can have a direct communication channel with me through the email and you can get to know everything that's going on with inspiration nation ask me questions and even give me suggestions on what you want us to talk about next so i'd love to see you in the next video so please click on those links please follow through please Let's get this community building. I appreciate you. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Inspiration Nation, and I'll catch you guys later.